Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. This is Snacko, and let's take a look. Farming sim, cats, two of my favorite things. Oh, the artwork is adorable. Oh, I think I can see land in the distance. Oops, sorry, did I wake you up? How'd you sleep? Um, not sure. It's hard remembering dreams after you wake up, huh? I remember the one I had. It was just me sleeping back at home. It's not home anymore, huh? We don't have a home to go back to. It's too late to go back, isn't it? Hey, no teasing. You're not homesick. Even a little bit? Just a bit. Yeah, I get that. I'm glad we decided to move, but I'm also scared. We'll be fine, I know it. We'll be A-OK. -okay. I'm not A-OK. -okay. Oh. It was just thunder. Wait, thunder? It's OK. I'm still A-OK. -okay. Keeping calm is important. Oh, maybe I'm only B-OK. -okay. Oh, the ship's sinking. Wait, wait. This is way too much water. Is this boat leaking? Did we start scooping it out? Um, it's time to jump ship. You can swim? Oh, right. You took swimming for felines 101 as your last elective. Well, I didn't, but it's too late for regrets now. I'll just have to wave my paws around. All right, ready when you are. Three, two, one. Ooh, the last thing you want to be in a thunderstorm is in water. Am I okay? I can hear water. It's really dark. Am I underwater? Or a dream? Children of the land. A voice. You must return whence you came. And leave this land in peace. Huh? Hello? Wake up! Don't make me have to ring ya! Oh, where's Mikan? There you go. Glad you took a bit ruffled. Glad you just look a bit ruffled. Don't think there's any problems aside from your wet fur. Mikan? What's that? Maybe you got some water in your ears. Name's Nobu, pleased to meet ya. You're lucky I couldn't sleep, so I decided to clean out my shed over here. So what's your name? Oh, Momo. But we are cats. A cat named Cat. Winter. 14. All right, Cat. We can do the introductions later, for now. Is that your boat there? Guess I don't have to speculate much about what happened. Hope you didn't pay much for it. Where's Mikan? So there's more than one of you? Well, let's not get ourselves in a donut just yet. I'm sure she's just like you. Shaken, but not stirred. Shaken? Don't you worry about it. Let's have a peek round this beach and see if any soaked kits turn up. Feeling a little disoriented? Use WASD to move around. You can use shift to toggle between walking and running. Good toggle. Great. Use space to jump. Uh, you can also find a bunch of handy settings such as camera zoom and key bindings in the settings menu. So check those out once you're done. Uh, once you're done. Once you've done your intro to the island. Ooh, okay. <gasps> hey, hey. There we go. I'm guessing that furball's Mikan. If she's able to snore that loud, she's probably just fine. <gasps> Yay! Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, sunny side up, please. Pancakes, butter, lots. Absolutely, Mikan. Can you put it on Cat's tab? Uh, Mikan, are you okay? I'm not okay. I'm Mikan. 
Huh? What? Cat? Cat! I'm glad we found her. I'm glad to see you. Wait, is this the afterlife? Yes, this is purgatory. Purgatory. Oh no, did you die too? Now, now, don't tease the snowball. Poor thing just washed up shore. Name's Nobu. Just found your friend down the beach here. The two of you sure are lucky. This sea here island's the only land round this way past capital city. The island? Does that mean... We made it! We made it to Snacko Island. Ah! No more rain. Extremely energetic for a kid who almost drowned. Anyways, weather don't seem too happy still. Let's head back to my house for some dry towels and food. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Mr. Nobu. You're the greatest, the bestest. If you don't drop the mister, you'll be sleeping out there tonight. All right, Kit. Let's get out of this storm before we start cracking jokes. Let's go. Guess being shipwrecked works up an appetite, huh? Go on, have your fifth bowl, Snowball. Don't mind if I do. Thank you, Mr. Nobu. What did I say about using Mr.? I just call you Nobu. I remember that much, Mr. Can't tell if you're trying to be funny or if you're just dumb. Lack of brain cells aside, you two really came all the way out here with nothing just because you saw the island on the telly? We bought some camping supplies. They're at the bottom of the ocean now, though. I don't know. We weren't happy with our jobs, so we figured, why not go on an adventure? Not sure if you kids are brave or just naive. Well, our plan was to return home if it was going terribly, but the storm... Our boat... Don't worry about it, Snowball. Worst comes to worst, just take my boat and buy me another in the city. Ha ha. You're right. Thank you, mister. I feel much better now. Er, y'all ain't scared of the... Huh? Never mind. Ain't nothing to be done about that tonight. The two of you must be exhausted. Alright, kids. Let's get some shut-eye. I ain't got a bed, but there's room on the floor. Don't look at me like that. It's better than outside. Aww. Alright, Lazy Bones up and at him. What time is it? Sunrise. Uh, breakfast time? I'm awake. Alright, kids. Breakfast, then you two will lend me a paw. Think of it as payment for letting you sleep on the floor. Purple doesn't look like she can even swing a hoe. Well then, you'll be helping me plant some seeds first. Let's start with the basics. Nothing more beginner friendly than some turnips. Alright, he's got tools and supplies for us. You switches between tools. Basics of farming are simple. Till the soil, sow the seeds, water them every day till they're good for picking. There's more to it than that, but I reckon that's enough to get going. Why don't you try planting those turnips I gave you? Anywhere is fine, as long as on the farm tile. Alright, Sprout, give it a try. Okay, cycle through using R and Q. Kill the soil, got that. Those are the three easy steps, yep. Use your hoe to, if you make a mistake. Be careful you won't get the seeds back. Remember to fill up your watering can when it starts running low. Okay. Is this the barb tile? Ah, there we go. 
Plant eased plant. There we go. Looking pretty good for a city kit, Sprout. You're a natural. Wow, wee cat. I knew you were going to be great at this stuff. Well, that's all the platinum that's got to be done for today. Hmm, how's this? I still need some wood and stone for a project, but it's getting mighty close to lunchtime. Lunchtime! Uh, right, so why don't you cats grab some of those for me while I go start food? Go grab me ten softwood and ten stone. Here's some old tools. Should be enough to get you what you need. There's lots of trees around these parts. Getting from the ones with the green leaves. Okay. Awesome. Just watch where you're swinging that axe, alright? Don't worry, mister. I've read about axes in books before. Okay. And Ken has orange cat energy. Alright, this looks like it's full of trees. I'm, um, allergic to gathering wood, so I'll just be providing moral support. You. Okay, we do have an energy bar. I see it up in the top corner. Ooh. We get weapons. Cooking, crafting, farming, fishing. Nice. We've only met Nobu so far. Cooking, crafting. Got like a, a Necopedia. Achievements. Save. Nice save. Hmm. Okay. Uh, one more stone. Looks like a lot of work. It's tiring, isn't it? Don't work yourself too hard. You gotta take breaks too, you know. Here, I picked up these berries earlier. I bet they'll give you some energy. Some pep in your steps, some stamina. Mm-hmm. Go to sleep before midnight. Oh. Yay, we got everything. Wow, I'm really good at this, huh? Uh I'm joking. Well, I was really good at keeping you motivated, right? Now I'm hungry from all this hard work. I wonder what lunch is. What are you looking at? Oh. Hello. What was that? I hope it's nothing scary. Anyway, let's get back for lunch. Alright, kids, slow down. We got plenty of food here. Wow, you can make food this good using things you find and grow on the island? Yeah, we. I'm sure stuffed. Thanks for the meal, mister. Glad you liked it, Snowball. I'm surprised a kit can eat that fast. I've been curious. What's living in the city like? I've only been there to visit family in the marketplace. Ah, uh, well, there's a mix of personalities. Many are nice, but some can be very rude. They'll scam you. Where'd that come from? 
Well, you see, when we were buying supplies, a merchant called me over for magical snacks. It was supposed to turn into a big meal enough to feed ten if you add water. And it didn't? Of course it didn't. You didn't see any floating hamburgers when you f see any floating hamburgers when you found us on the beach, did you? I suppose. And then there was the time. <laughs> Orange cat energy. <laughs> So I had to round the chickens back myself. And after that, we had to go door to door. That's terrible. It wasn't terrible for me, but how did you feel, Cat? My soul exited the atmosphere. Yeah, you were like a walking ghost. It was just the same every single day. It got very tiring. We thought we should try something fun before we end up doing the same thing forever. Hmm, you've heard about the island, haven't you? You mean about the goddess cursing the island? Uh, yeah, we were taught a bit in school. Well, I don't know if you know this, but you can't get to most places on the island anymore. Miasma and all that. Could say the remains of this town and the beach area you washed up on are the only safe spots left. With no way to go out and use the land, everyone left. Either went back home or moved to the city. Why are you still here, then? I'm a stubborn one. The land's been in my family for generations. All farmers. A lot of work to live here, though. You still up for it? Yes, sir. Yeah, we can do this. Sounds good enough for me. Alright, follow me, kids. Time to wrap up the day. I got a gift for Sprout, too. Stop squawking and start moving, kids. The sooner we get there, the sooner you find out what it is. Well, you did a good job, Sprout. I didn't make you do all that for nothing. The farm is all yours now. Wait, really? I up. Whole thing. I can bet a row of chickens you'll do just fine. Wow, mister, you're too kind. Not to be, um, selfish, but what what about me? Don't worry, I got a, a place and job for you. I'll tell you about it later. Just nothing. It's just handling shipments. Oh, wow, I get my own place, too? All right, Sprout. You got the farm, but you also need a roof over your head. This here's a blueprint book for a house. If you read it carefully, you'll be able to make it with your own paws. Go ahead. Give it a look-see. Ooh, crafting table. Hover over it in your inventory bar and use E to commit it to memory. Nice. Starter house. See, it wasn't so hard, was it, Sprout? Now you need a place to make it. Small workbench. And one more thing. To place that, you're going to need a set of these. Builder's kit. That there's got all sorts of handy tools in there to help you line things up and place them just right. Equip that just like the other tools to use it. Okay. This is truly a pause on experience. Right. Don't know if you noticed, but I went and given you the rest of the materials for a starter house too. Oh, very cool. Now go and plop that small workbench so you can get crafting. It's no use sitting in your rucksack, Sprout. Guess we'll set it here. There you go. You're this much closer to having your own house. Wow, this sounds easy so far. I thought owning a house required a lot more paperwork. Go over to your small workbench and get those paws moving. A hundred stone, two hundred softwood. Done. Can I rotate it? Um, control hold for fixed rotation. Alt. Ooh, okay. Nice. Proud of you, Sprout. It's your own house. I'm meowsing, and you made that yourself. Well, let's go inside. I've got a present for you. Oh, more? Let's go, let's go. Well, how you like it, Sprout? Can you believe you made it yourself? Wow, I did this. You sure did. Ain't that something? This looks so nice. You're good at everything you do, Cat. Alrighty, and this here's the gift I told you about. Uh, the furniture. 
Softwood furniture. A bed, bookshelf, even a floor lamp. I found some old furniture in the shed. Hope you can get some good use out of it. You can use these for now, but you should check out the bulletin board in town tomorrow. I'll teach you how to make- it'll teach you how to make your own furniture. Free stuff, so you better check out- check it out, Sprout. Anyway, go, go ahead and place these down with your builder's kit. Quests! With the bulletin board. And... Nice. Place storage container. Oh, did I have one? Is that what this is? Well done, Sprout. Ain't top of that carrot, but sure is homey. Ain't top of the carrot, but sure is homey. Huh. Oh, a lamp. Let me show Snowball here where she'll be staying. I'll be waiting for you outside, Snowball. Say your goodnights and be out, you hear? Okay, mister, I'll be out real quick. I right, see you tomorrow, Sprout. You better be up at the crack of dawn. Wow, that was a lot of info to take in. You're gonna be a real farmer. Wait, you already are a real farmer. How exciting, I can sell your stuff and you can make the stuff. What do you mean that doesn't sound fair? It's super fair. By the way, what happened when we got split up on the beach? Were you okay? Explain your dream. Oh? That's kind of scary, hearing random voices. I'm not surprised you had a nightmare like that. The storm was scary. When the boat started leaking, my brain started to leak too. We have such bad luck, huh? But now it'll all be good from here. In fact, the memory is so vivid it feels like it just happened yesterday. Uh, it did. Oh wait, it did. Um, anyway. I'm glad we were lucky to meet mister. I'll work real hard to pay back his kindness. You gotta do that too, okay? I'm ready for our new life. Snacko Island better be ready for us. Child, you must heed my words. This land can no longer support you. From you who has caused my fall. The miasma has risen once more. Ooh. Oh! Can we talk about how cute that was? The way the cat was sleeping on the bed? Not like a human, like a cat. Oh, that was so cute. Morning! Mister got me a place to stay, but it needs some... Um, work. It needs some work. So yeah, can you come please help me out? This kind of work is better when you're with others. You're saying that because you got to take more breaks, huh? <laughs> so, mister, you know how you let me borrow some books last night? I up. Um, so there was a book in there about, like, local history. And I was thinking if the miasma has something to do with people losing faith in the goddess. I mean, it kind of feels like everyone just stopped believing in her and the miasma got worse, so... Do you know anything about that, mister? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, why not? You haven't told us anything yet. That's a mighty touchy, touchy topic around these parts when I was a kid. Lots of friendships broken up over arguments regarding all this hooey. Me? I don't feel either way about... Messacina? Or, that's the goddess's name. By the end of everything, before everyone moved out, most folks believed Messacina cursed this island as revenge. Revenge? Ah, uh, yep. Nobody could agree whether or not to continue the offerings. Some folks said we needed to feed our families first. Others said without offerings, the goddess wouldn't be able to do her duties. That's where it got hairy. Not many folks believed that the goddess needed offering, said she being selfish and petty. Anyway, I just don't want to talk about it. Don't got too many good memories of that. Just keep away from the miasma, you hear? Okay, that sounds complicated. Well, I'm sure we'll find out more as we spend more time here. Without getting close to the miasma, of course. Well, we're done out here. Let's do the interior now, kits. 
Wow, this is such a cute and yellow house. Very yellow. Suits ya. Uh, thanks to both of you, I got a cozy house now. I'm so glad we live here. Uh, I still don't get why you or anyone would want to move here, especially with reputation and all. Hmm, I think everyone I know that's our age doesn't mind this kind of stuff as much. Did you call me old? Plus, the air is nice. Life isn't hectic and sad. Why not just move to the outskirts of the city, then? In this economy? Bring it on, Miasma. You can't scare me more than the VP of Operations. Alright, so is this the town? Okay, so M does bring up the map. I'm guessing we're here. There's our house. Oh, to farm. I see it. Fence square and lighthouse, town square. Nobu's house. It's empty. Oh yeah, this place is pretty pretty run down. Oh yeah. Like it's completely vacated. Oh, fish. A little shipyard. Check the bulletin board. Where is the bulletin board? Ah, here it is. I heard the white puff mention something about DIY, and I think she's got a point. Why buy when you can use your paws for free? Ah, uh, let's see. Listening to his lecture. Do we know where Nobu is? This gives me, like, major Animal Crossing vibes. I dig it. Okay. Uh, Nobu's house. I'm already lost. Oh, what's this? A broken statue here. Maybe I should try to fix it up, it looks so sad. Oh, that would be great. The yellow bit poking out. I don't know. All right, and it looks like a lion. Gather yeah, thirty stone. Ooh, twenty mist crystals. No idea where to get those from. The farm. Oh, okay. Wait, if that's the farm. Yeah, here's Nobu's house. What's up? About crafting? You here to learn about crafting furniture? I'll give you the blueprints if you got- If I got- If you listen to me, yap. Tell me about crafting. Alright, Sprout. Normally you'd find these blueprints either by themselves or in a collection, you know, like a book. I found some floating around the island, but I bought most of mine from carpenters. Maybe one day in the furniture- Or in the future, our town will have one of our own. Until then, I have a collection of basics for you. You know the trees that grow around here? They give different types of wood. Each wood got its own strong and weak points, so the furniture and goods you craft out of them will be different. If it weren't for the darn miasma, you could probably go out and find more kinds of wood, but... Anyway, just read what I give you, and you'll be able to craft lots of stuff in no time. Here's your blueprint book. If you check your recipes in your journal or at the workbench, it's a big one, so happy crafting.
Fence, scarecrow, lamppost, storage container, stick cloth, paper, string, sleeping box, brick planter, sword, tool set, barrel, brick pile. Cool. Learned how to make turnip salad. Looks like I have a bunch of seeds in my inventory, so I'm gonna plant them. Wait, where am I? Oh, that's my house I'm seeing. one I guess we start clearing the field. I don't know where we get Mist Crystal from. I feel like it's gonna be a while. Only 10 a.m. and we're gonna be like completely tapped on energy here. We get a little bit back from eating. storage? Did I, oh, I'm eating. Okay. No, this is free stuff.
Oh, mailbox. We have received notice that this address is to resume service under the mainland postal office system. Mail will be delivered and collected every morning at 4 a.m. by your area's designated postal servicer. Thank you for choosing the MPO. Need 15. Oh, to get 10. Okay, that's nice. Consumables. Equipment. We don't have iron or hardwood yet. Ooh, decorative. Cute. Okay. Um... I feel like I'll just go to bed and see what happens the next day. Trying to stay up past 12 a.m. will result in falling asleep no matter where you are, so be careful. Okay. This is the standard. <laughs> the little loaf. Morning, cat. I'm here with a good idea. You know how I've always been a project management goddess, right? You sure are. <laughs> right? So anyway, I've been thinking of ways to improve this island and our quality of life here, and I came up with this. Mikan's Island Advancement Objectives. Meow. M-I-A-O, meow. Or meow for short. Amazing, right? I should... Or should I say, a uh, meowzing? It's a list of objectives that will help grow the island. If you do well, I'll even be able to trade for more goodies at the marketplace. Here, I'll write them down for you. The first meow has a bunch of basics that will help you get started on island life. I got my first meow. Opening stores in town. So, I brought Mr. Over to help explain how we can trick, I mean, uh, attract new shopkeepers and residents. Oh, you're asking if I'm going to work on the meow? I'll be, um, busy writing the next set of goals for you, so yeah. Anyway, good luck with them. I know you can do it. Each meow will have a series of subtasks that lead you to a brighter tomorrow. Awesome. She's sure full of energy, that one. Now, I know the island is in good pause. You kids will do great. Can't wait to see this place thrive again. Now what Furball was saying about having shop open up here and all. Have you heard of the Capital Tribune? Of course you have. It's the main newspaper that runs in the city all the way up to the small islands like us. They also got a huge bulletin board smack dab in the middle of Capital City. You can send in ads for the company to post on that big old board. I'm sure hundreds of folks walk by that thing every day. I'm sure if you put an ad looking for someone to try their luck at starting new on an island, you'll get something back. For now. Why not a grocer? They'll be able to sell you seeds and whatnot. I only grow a couple of things, but you probably want to use your big farm. Huh. It'll be easy. Just go and specify you're looking for a grocer. Walk up to your mailbox and send out a letter for a post, and it'll probably take a day or two, but you'll get a reply. We don't have to fix up anything first? Invite tab from the mailbox. Alright. A grocer, we're looking for someone who's... Ooh. Quirky! Housing provided in the beautiful and growing community of Snacko Island. Okay, now it's giving Animal Crossing vibes. Now I have to wait for a reply. I'll check my mailbox tomorrow. Okay. Each potential resident will request a specific house before they move in. Place the house in town after accepting their response. So can I take down all those homes and stuff that are in the town? If you don't know where to gather the materials for the house, try exploring the island. You can back out of any invitation by resigning the quest. Don't worry, you can always resend an invitation. You can't place potential residents' shops and houses outside of the town. All 
All right, let's water our crops and we'll poke around the um, town and see if we can actually take it apart. I feel like that's gonna be a lot of energy to go through. this shipments a shipping a shipping box all right so we've got nobu here and we've got miken right here We can. Ooh, we can get some hardwood from this. Not sure if the energy bar is doing much of anything. What does this say? Blossom Pond. Cool, cool. Yeah, our energy is... String! Oh, blue petal. Cool. Oh, the flower's here. Can we? I don't know. Anyway. Is this house? I can't tell if we're actually hitting it. look like it. Alright, we're gonna run out of energy, though. If there's any berries? Okay. Let's head over grassy plains and mushroom forest. I'm Oh, and something's here. Let's go check this out. Lighthouse? Yep. Do a little exploring. Note here. Don't go up here unless you want to get your snout booped. It's dangerous. I read this in an old man's voice. Beach? Okay. This is the main area of the town. Be the best spot to build. Mushroom forest. Oh, there's a chest up there. I was not expecting like a full biome change, but this is gorgeous. Oh, there's the miasma. We're not going to be able to go in very far.
All right. I guess we'll leave that. I'm guessing the Grassy Plains is going to be the same story. Print book. Do some jewel cutting. Oh, how did I pick that up? Ooh, a desert biome. Oh, right here. Desert Canyon. Frozen Tundra to farm. This is Goddess Pond. Tundra, we're definitely not going to be able to do. Grassy Plain. Did you go decide to or did you decide to go exploring too? I couldn't find any fruit trees around my house and I don't have an, a fishing rod yet. So I thought I'd come out for a stroll and see if there's anything yummy to forage. And there is, see? You can get apples here. Can you help me look for some? You're an expert when it comes to cutting down trees after all. <laughs> oh, chest. Um, what do you think this is? The miasma? Whatever this nasty-looking energy thing is, was also around the pond on my way here. I've tried walking past it earlier. But it really hurts, even if you just get a teeny bit close to it. Glad I only whiffed by it instead of walking straight into it. Yeah, brats, step away from there. Gosh, I knew you were up to no good when I saw your white puff slinking away from town. What? Slinking? Rude. Now you listen to me here, both of you. Do not go near the miasma. Got it? Don't ask me no questions because I don't got answers for you. Just stay away and don't get hurt. But why? Didn't I just say I had no answers for you? Now come back to town with me for a ball. Same with you, Sprout. This thing here is dangerous and it's only been getting worse. Okay. I'm being serious here for a ball. Sorry if I scared you, but this miasma is no joke. Why do you think this whole town is deserted? Sorry, mister, I just wanted some fruit, but I'll stay away from now on. Hi, you kits. Here, some apples for you each. Now turn around and go on back, you hear? Wow, thanks, mister. You sure are nice. Yeah, yeah. Get a move on for ball. Part of me likes this. Kind of chuckles at the idea that maybe the old man is the goddess in disguise. And that the goddess would just pick an old man to, uh, be a disguise. We can get to our farm from here. I think we'll just go to bed. Put away some of this stuff, I think. Okay. But yeah, I haven't explored much of our farm area. We have a whole, like, private beach. Nice. I imagine we'll be able to decorate all the way out here.
get up there. Okay, we have a little pond up here. Hmm, no hidden chests it looks like. A lot of resources though, which is nice. It's so daunting though, like how much there is that we can cut down and clear and decorate and the town, the town alone, just clearing that all out. Okay, let's go to bed and get the grocer in the morning. I think I'd want my house closer to town. So I hope we'll be- <laughs> the loaf cracks me up every single time. Hi! Howdy, Sprout. I was on my morning walk and I figured I'd stop by and say hello. I came along too. You know, for just a short while on your own, it's looking real good. Soon you'll have a real farm with lots of delicious food. Sure. Anyways, as I was saying earlier... What was that? Oh, <laughs> Is it the island ghosts? Nonsense, Furball. Probably just some wildlife or something. I don't know. Cat, could you go see what's causing that noise? I'm too scared to move. Well, you heard her. Go on. I'll just, uh, look after me, Can. Ugh, why me? Just go. What is this? And the music stopped and everything. Ooh. Is it that little thing? That little sprout thing? Yeah. Um, hello? My name is Mikan. Now you got manners, Kit? <laughs> Will the both of you stop hiding behind me? <laughs> Unpuff your tail there, Sprout. I think this fellow's taking a liking to you. I'm glad it doesn't seem to like me. I bet you that little puff there is hungry. You know what it is, mister? Haven't seen one of them myself, but I reckon that puff right there is a real, genuine land sprite. Heard about them growing up all the time. It won't bite you, Sprout, so relax. Well, at least it shouldn't. Uh, I don't think I've got any food on me. All I got is this sofa chair I meant to put back in storage. Oh, it's cute! Look at that. You all want this chair? Seems to be looking at a delicious meal. Well, I mean, sure. I was about to put it away anyways. If you want to have it, it's yours. Ah, that's better. It talks! Sprites can talk? Of course. I know eight languages. I'm learning my ninth, actually, but the previous residents took their Learn With Me 1, 2, 3 books with them. After that, I was so hungry and so bored. I see, that must have been hard for you. Well, you got a name, Puff? Name? Nope, you can call me whatever you want. I don't mind. Well, all right then, Puff, what are you doing here? I've been on this island since I was a kitten. I've never seen any other sprites. Well, usually we're not supposed to appear in front of the... the world of the living, I guess? Sprites supposed to keep to... S spirits supposed to keep to spirits and all that. But after years of peace on this island, everyone started turning against Mama. A lot of fighting broke out, and the miasma got worse and worse, so everyone left. You two are the first city folk to come to this island in years, so I decided to see what has changed. Mama? Yeah, do you know Ms. Messina? She's the mother of this island. So in a sense, she's kind of my mother as well. Hmm, I see. Makes sense. You're talking about the whole ordeal of stopping offerings, aren't you? Ah, yeah. They said she was a selfish goddess that she only knew how to take from villagers. But I know it's not true. 
Ever since then, she's gone dormant, and I've pretty much given up looking for her. Wait, she exists? And she up and disappeared? Yeah, I guess that's a little hard to believe, but the goddess that everyone rev- well, used to revere is real. She's been taking care of this island and the ecosystem around it since the islands came to be. Well, yeah, if you weren't here, I don't think any of us would have believed all this. I thought it was just some story to sell trinkets. You tell them you think you heard her voice the other day. You heard her? You heard Messicina? Really? She's still here? So she hasn't given up yet. She's been watching over us. Ah, uh, but how do we talk to her and how do we convince her to come back? Huh. After she left, the miasma started to rise. I feel like it's getting worse. I'm worried it'll engulf the whole island. I don't even know what keeps the miasma at bay. I think only Mama knows. So, I want to ask you for a favor. Will you help me find a way to bring Messacina back? Let's do it. Really? Thank you. Thank you so much, Cat. We can start with remnants of her shrines and stuff scattered around the island. Oh, is that what that thing is in the, the Gut's Pond? You think we can do it? Yes, I think so. Well, I can't believe this is all real. But, um, what if she's, like, asleep or something and she gets mad you woke her up? It's okay. I'll take all the blame for it. I don't even care if she puts me in the timeout corner. I just want to see her again. Uh-huh. Timeout corner for spirits. Well, then it's decided, cat. We're friends now. In fact, I'll live in your little bell. It looks very round and comfortable. Oh, just don't forget to feed me, okay? I can eat anything, so don't worry about it. I'm not picky at all. Okay. Yeah. You ate my chair. <laughs> oh, congrats, I guess. You have a new friend now. All's well that ends well. Who knows, maybe by the end of it, Miss Goddess will really come back and fix all this. That's the plan. Well, Sprout, I'll leave you to it, I guess. Happy adventuring. Bye, cat. Bye, little sprite. Bye-bye. Ah, this bell is just as comfy as I thought it would be. Anyway, getting the island back into better shape is just as important as exploring. So don't shirk your farm duties just to run off to the grassy plains. Ooh, going to the grassy plains. Alright, your land sprite will be taking it easy in your summoning bell. Equip and use it to have your friend join you or return to the bell. Exploring and feeding your sprite will help them grow stronger and unlock abilities to help you on your journey. You can read more about sprite care using the bookshelf. Sprite growth not in early access. Okay. We don't have to worry about that right now. I just got an idea. You're a farmer, right? So I bet you need a lot of stamina to go about your day. Well, that's one of my powers. I can help restore your stamina. Awesome. Huh? Um, I guess I'm not strong enough anymore. You remember how I wasn't able to communicate with you until I had a bite to eat? It must be like that then. I'll have to rebuild my strength to get my abilities back. So if you have anything else you don't need laying around, I'll take it off your paws. I mean, you'll eat it. I bet once I get my strength back, I'll be super useful to have around. It's a win-win, right? I think so. Cute. Alright. What is this? Ooh. Ground coffee. Cool. You saw how they're gonna start delivering letters from our parts now, huh? Before you guys came, I had to take my own boat if I wanted to get mail. Guess they figured now that there's more than one resident on the island, it's worth their time to start doing mail service again. How you reckon they know you furballs are here, though? I don't know. <gasps> Mac! Oh, hello, my name is Mac. I saw you're looking for a grocer. I have tons of seeds. I have this one particular strain of turnip seeds that are... Oh, there's a word limit. Um, well, I attached to what kind of shop I need, so make sure you have that ready. Okay, bye! You are the cutest. Absolute cutest. Okay. Rustic Grocer. Softwood. Hardwood. Oof. Grass seeds. 
We're, so we're good on softwood and pretty much stone. Just a couple more of that. Hardwood and grass seeds. I'm curious, like, if you could get different animals. I'm thinking so, because you can either accept or decline. Yeah, let's see if I can clean up some of this stuff and get some hardwood from it. Looks like I can get this. Oh, yes. There we go. Paper. A fire fragment. Cool. Okay. Break down another one of those buildings. Come on, just give me enough energy to get it. Alright, I think that should be enough hardwood. I think. Okay, he wants to talk to me again. He wants to- he just wants to talk my ear off. Why don't you just talk to me instead of put up requests to talk to me? Talk about farming? You got my quest about farming basics, yeah? Teach me about farming. All right, Sprout, you remember the basics, yeah? Of course you do, till the soil plant the seeds water them. That makes up about 90% of it. As long as you remember to water your crops, you're in the clear. Except when it rains, of course. Then you wait for them to grow and <sighs> grow up and yank them out of the dirt. The little box even tells you when you can harvest them. Huh? You don't know what box I'm talking about? Don't worry, someone out there knows what I'm talking about. Anyways, there's some crops where they're useful at earlier st- oh, breaking the fourth wall. I just realized that. Okay. Um, there's some crops where they're useful at earlier stages. There's not many, but the main one that comes to mind are green onions. You plant some onion seeds and yoink them early. You'll still see the little box, so it should be easy to know when you can dig them up. Off you go. Take these seeds and harvest nine green onions. Think of it as your training arc. <laughs> cool. Up about those shipments. Hey, a sprout. Glad to hear you listen about the importance of shipments. Not much to it, to be honest. Mikan will pick up your shipments every morning. What's the point of making some dough? Well, I reckon you kits can get city folk to move here. I can give you seeds here and there, but ultimately you're going to have to find a real source. Well, we can worry about the specifics of that some other time, but for now, just remember to ship anything you don't need. Never hurts to keep some money on you. That's all, Sprout. Have some food, bet you're hungry going through all these changes. Yes, absolutely. Actually, let's see how much energy that gives us because 
I wouldn't mind taking down another one of those houses. There's one right here. Come on! Oh, we're tired. Alright, maybe we'll find some apples in the grassy plains, so let's head on over. Uh, we are... here. Man, I really wish the stamina bar was larger. Uh, uh. It's okay, we can get to the grassy plains from the goddess pond. Shared space. Please respect your neighbors and friends. Sign looks a little old. Yeah, likely. Ooh! Our first chest! Ooh! Oh, the miasma. Ouch! Oops! We can't get it yet. Oh, here we go. Oh, I think this might be it. This is a shrine for the grassy plains. Oh! I'm a ghost with a hint. You should enter the shrine. Um, let's go home. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Don't go. I'll, uh, curse you. Come on, just walk up. Is the shrine talking to us? Please? I've got to say, I've never heard a ghost sound so desperate before. Hmm, or any ghost for that matter. Uh, well, I guess it is one of the shrines we've been looking for, so you should check it out. There's no obelisk in sight, but we but we can think about that after we deal with this thing. Uh, you coming with me, right? I'll stay in your bell. Oh, we can enter it. What? Whoa. This looks like a completely different world. Oh, my darlings. Don't look so spooked. Is my voice really that grating? How heartbreaking, how tragic. Why does the ghost sound really annoying all of a sudden? Um, hello? Hello to you too, little one. You know what, cat? I think this was a bad idea, let's just leave. Hold it, I've been all alone for all these years and you're leaving right as you get here? All these years, you mean, you remember me now, little one? That's right. Your lovable, approachable, and fashionable Uncle Trava. Oh, aren't you cool. Ah, uh, don't worry your pretty leaf over it. You probably don't remember me, but you're here about Messy, aren't you? Messy? Oh, you mean Messina? A Messina. Yes, yes, Messy. Sadly, I don't have all the answers you're looking for. Oh. No, no, wipe that frown off your face. After you leave this shrine, you should look around the plains. I'll let you in on a little secret. Ha ha ha. My head hurts. Now then, enjoy the shrine. Do we have to? Can we just leave? No. It's got something to do with the obelisks, right? No. I just want to watch you have fun. Okay, let's leave. Just do it. Luck. Shrines outside of this one are optional puzzle dungeons scattered across the island. The goal is to complete them. The real goal is to complete them fast. After your first run, you'll see a timer on the top right to track your progress. Can you get the gold medal? Or you can try your best to reach the treasure chests. Good luck and have fun. I feel sp spiritually drained. Anyway, it won't hurt to figure out what he means by a secret. We can do that after we see what this shrine has in store for us. Oh. Okay, do I need to know that particular order? We've got pick, axe, no, pick, bow, axe, sword, bow.
locked. Okay, is that really our only clue? Ooh, okay. Chain blueprints. Oh, we got our bow. Potted tulips, fake dirt rug, fake grass, potted evergreen, bomb arrows, bomb arrow. Nice. Okay, that opens this one. What is that purple thing? Aha, over there. Can I jump from here? Cool. Do it's not working though. There's something else we didn't hit. We hit that purple thing. What's over there? It looks like a bird. We actually have to hit the switch. <laughs> we didn't even hit gold. Restart. Okay, I think we can do it. Hit. Oh, jump hit. Almost fell off that. I am fell off of it. There we go. Silver. We'll go with silver. No, I wanted the chest. Was that scarecrow always there? No. <laughs> I love it. It talked? The scarecrow talked? Why does it sound like Trava? Bring me 20 turnips from the chest there. Why is it making demands now? Or you can give me 20 of your own. Either or. This is ridiculous. Isn't the chest right there? Get it yourself. The scarecrow waits for the 20 turnips with giddy anticipation. Ugh, we don't have any other leads. Let's get the stupid straw pile. It's turnips. The scarecrow looks like it wants to retort. Okay, we'll get it, but... Get in that chest. Okay, so we have to open the door. Okay, so can we jump to it from somewhere? I don't think we can make that jump. Oh, and it's still locked. We don't have another... Oh, maybe we have to hit gold in order to get it. Can't we restart? Restart. Feel like a speedrunner.
Yes. Ace. All right. I don't know. I don't know how we get the chest then. All right. Speaking of chests, turnips. Got him right here. Please tell me you're going to live on our farm. I need you to live on our farm. Thanks. Hey, where did the turnips go? Hello? The scarecrow is adamantly pointing that way. It's no use. I guess we should just figure out where it's pointing to. Yep, just keep going deeper into the plains. You're still talking? Nope. <laughs> Bye. No, I want the scarecrow. Please, come stay on the farm. Okay, so it was pointing this way. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You're important and you are enough. Thanks for hanging in there. Keep on trucking. Thanks. Aw. Cute. Oh, there he is. Here it is again. Did it move? Pointing that way. Yes, that's Trava. I'll bet my last softwood chair that the voice is Trava's. Sprite has more softwood chairs. You got me 20 veggie tables. Now you've yet to give me 20 veggie chairs. <laughs> What do you think? I spent the time it took you to get here to come up with that one. Did you say something? Well, I hope wherever he's pointing now is the last stop. We've walked pretty far into the plains, so we should be close to the end. The scarecrow is pointing that way with passion and an undercurrent of sadness. Campground? Ooh. I haven't seen any apple trees yet. Oh, there he is. Gosh, I really hope this is the last time you make us run across the plains, straw pile. The scarecrow is looking at you with a serious expression. Are you ready? Are you ready to start this journey? At the end of this, there's no guarantee you'll see her again. You understand that, right? She told me to protect this obelisk, you know. You mean, you're not here to protect the island from Messicina? She didn't abandon the island? Where'd you hear that nonsense from? Of course not. Anyway, you could say that it's my duty to prevent anyone, including you, from meddling with it. So we can't? We can't try to summon Messicina? That depends, little one. Do you want to try? You mean, you are Trava. Uncle Trava knows how this miasma came to be, you know. It was a mess, so... I was hoping putting you on that little scarecrow chase would dissuade you from pursuing this any further. It almost did. But I... No, we want to do this. I don't know why Mama disappeared, but we'll figure it out and we'll bring her back. I have trust in your conviction, little sprite. Ha ha ha. Go on then, activate this obelisk and make your offerings for the mist. Oh, I wonder if this is where you get mist crystals. Obelisk? Where? Where did that come from? If you could see it from the start, I would be doing a terrible job now, wouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, so that tiny little thing was just a puzzle thing. It wasn't actually an obelisk. These obelisks, each region of the island has one, and each one of them is under the watchful eye of a guardian. There's more of you? <laughs> you don't need to look so nervous, little one. We're all quite different from one another, you know. Especially Glina. Shudders. Ugh. You'll have to enter each of these obelisks in order to activate them. Think carefully about what you want, little one. If you choose to go down this path, there's naught but work ahead of you two. What do you think, Cat? Oh, let's do. Let's do it. You're right. Sorry for wavering. We decided to do this, and we've even found a clue. If we back down now, I would regret it. Okay, let's do this. 
Kava, we're gonna do it. We'll figure it out. The shrines, the obelisks, we'll restore Snacko Island to what it was. No, even better. We'll bring Mama back. Ah, excellent speech, little one. You sure grew up fast. Somehow your laugh is even more annoying than your voice. I didn't hear that. Well, there's no stopping you, little ones. The obelisk is all yours to explore. I wish you both luck on your journey. Oh, and if you make it to Miraz, tell him I said hello. <laughs> okay, so there's two more that we know of, Glina and Miraz. And just like that, he's gone. At least we know what to do now. I'll leave that to you, Cat. You still haven't checked. We have enough stuff. Ooh, in we go. Oh, it's wild. What's this? I think this might be an offering plate. It used to be pretty common. Town folks would come here with all sorts of stuff and elemental fragments as offerings. You can get lucky sometimes and find fragments breaking items, but I'd say the easiest way is to break down items in, in Alembic. Uh, I don't know how to make one, though. I think an alchemist would be able to teach you, but until we work on brightening up the town with Mikan's meows to lure in, I mean, invite an alchemist, let's just find some around here. I'll even give you all the ones that I have. You're welcome. As for the rest of the stuff, I can't help you with that. Good luck, though. I'm sure you can do it. You might want to write down what you need in your journal because I won't be able to remember. What? Learning a language and remembering a grocery list are two different things. 30? Oh, wow. Okay. We definitely need a grocer. 40 apples? I don't know what this is. And 25 of these things. Okay, I'm just breaking it apart. Ooh. That is cool, though. Okay, so it's just an offering. Alright. Let's see if we have what we need to make that grocery house. I think we might still need a grass seed or two. Wow, we still need a lot more hardwood. Alright, well, we are pretty much tapped on energy and we don't have anything we can do. So let's go ahead and... Uh, tidy? Yeah, I'm, I'm keep splitting the pack. That's not what I want. I want to move it. Move all. There we go, I click. I have to like double click it. Stone. Grass seed. Softwood stapling. The rest we can leave in here. Tidy, great. These still aren't ready yet.
All right, so I feel like if we hit this long grass... I can't remember if we got the grass seed from... Oh! Let's say the top layer or the second layer, but it looks like we got it. I think that's all we needed, right? Five of them? Perfect. A couple more stone. And two, oh, like 32 more hardwood. Okay. I guess it might be easier if I found some hardwood trees. Maybe these pink ones are hardwood? They are, okay. I remember him saying that the green ones were softwood, so. Oh, a white petal. It'd be a little bit quicker, I think, than trying to take out all the buildings. We can swim! Kind of. Kind of walking underwater more than anything. Oh yeah, it's so much quicker. 70, I think that's all we need. Do one more. Okay, now we gotta get one more thing of stone. Just to get us to 50. Perfect. it in town. Oh, hi. I have to be in the town. Here we go. Yep. I'll we'll face it this way. And they'll show up tomorrow. Great. Oh, come on. Ugh. Okay, we didn't have enough to take that out. Okay. I know it's still early, but let's just go to bed. This is one of the pitfalls of having stamina bars. Uh, that's one of the things I love about Sunhaven. No stamina bars. So I imagine clearing each obelisk will lessen the miasma in that area and open up new areas. That's my guess on how this is going to work. Come on. Is it raining? Nice. From your number one supporter. Gosh, I didn't know if you and McCann made it safely, but it sounds like you did. She wrote me a letter a couple days ago and told me about your big trip. How exciting. I've always wanted to jump off a ship during a thunderstorm. No, you don't. Anyway, I hope you're eating well. I'm sending you some stew. Make sure to eat all your vegetables. If you don't, I'll know. I'll just know.
Let's see if they arrived. <laughs> oh, you're adorable! This is Snacko Island, huh? The air here smells so much better. If I cultivate seeds here, they're sure to turn out super duper tasty. I can't wait to see- to set up shop. Oh, so cute! Oh, hi! Hey yo, pay yo, I'm Mac. Thanks for building this fantastic store for me. It's nice to meet you. I used to be a researcher at Capital University studying how to make crops yummier and easier to grow. But I kept eating the research materials, so they kicked me out. I promise not to eat all the stock. I'll have plenty of seeds for you to buy from my store. You can stop by my shop any day from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. I'll be closed on Mondays and Thursdays. See you around. Okay, so it's still early. You probably won't sell me anything yet. Oh, what? Oh, a little video game? What am I supposed to do? Okay, move. Oh, it's pinball? Oh, okay, I can move that. Hit left. Oh, like that. There we go. Oh, right. No! Come back! Oh. Spinach! Play again. Um, did we start the ball? E. And what if I want the... Oh. What if I want the candle? There we go. I'm hoping it's a little decor piece. Cute. All right. be able to move buildings and stuff once we get our town a little more cleaned up and planned a little better. Once we know how many buildings are that we've got. Oh, it looks like these are ready. have a table. Yeah, we can place a candle. It's on the floor. Sure. Okay. Carpenter? New friends. Let's get a carpenter who is... Let's just do quirky for everybody. All right, we have some energy, so let's just burn it. By clearing out some more of our town.
And I don't know how much money I currently have, but we'll see if we can purchase the carrot seeds. Yeah, let's clear out this whole area. Oh, berries. Excellent. Getting a couple more of those earth fragments. Oh good, we didn't have to start that over again either. Whew. I got worried for a minute. Who are you? Lilith! Hello, I'm Lilith. I'm here for a vacation with my boyfriend. Oh, I love your little heart pattern on your chest. Is this your boyfriend? Santino. I'm Santino. Heard about this island getting a revival, so I came here for a tasting trip. Anything good to eat here? Not yet. Oh, will you move here? Please? Oh, you are so cute! Cardboard? I know, we're almost out of energy. Okay. I guess that's that. It looks a little clearer now. Oh, 9.52. Let's go see if we can purchase our seeds. have anything in stock? Okay. There are lots of seeds on display, but nothing to purchase. Okay. Oh. We can see where everybody is. There's another cat and something else over there. It's not showing Mac though. Those are the visitors. That's cool. We get to see you know, people around. Or by people, I mean animals. in a dinosaur costume? Absolutely. Oh, more- wow, 180 hardwood this time. Iron ore? I don't even know where to get ore yet.
Can we invite another while we wait? Yeah, let's look for let's for look for quirky new friends. We're gonna need so much hardwood. Three, not a bad start. You know what? I think it's it's gonna take us a while to end up selling. No, put that in there. There it goes. We'll just get more turnips later. Get some money now. We have a clearer view of Max's house. Hi, you're still here. Where's the other... Is that a bunny? Ew. It is a bunny. Ichibun! Oh, you must be Cat. I heard about what you and Mikan have done for this island. Wow, this is amazing. We haven't really done much of anything. Yet. Shop's not open yet. Oh, the notice board. This thing is like so kind of out of the way. At least for now. Oh, he wants he wants to talk my ear off again. Oh, fishing though. Oh, where did I eat? So if I get into, like, this mode again, and I pick stuff up... This doesn't look terrible. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, let's see if we can purchase things again. I need carrot seeds, Mac. Nothing. Snackopolis grocery store. Oh, he's not here. Oh, there he is. Fishing. I'm here for the rod blueprint. Oh. I imagine we'll get prompted about iron at some point. Oh, 
It would help if I actually learned the blueprint. See how this goes. Nope. Oh, hello. I don't get what happened. Are we not supposed to be in the blue line? I thought I was doing a pretty good job there. This is what happens when you skip over directions. Like, oh, it's gotta be straightforward like other farming sim games, right? to reel it in. Ha! I actually have to press to reel it in. There we go. Okay. Not bad at all. Can you reach that, buddy? Yep. I gotta watch my energy. Okay, yeah. Can we eat it though? We can. Not really how much that gave us, but. I'm sure we're gonna, we're gonna be getting cooking at some point. So let me go to bed, and I think this is where I'm going to end the episode. It's an extra long one. Putting this out on Christmas Day. There we go. <clears throat> oh. Cutscene. Kind of. How you been feeling so far? You know... Like, how's the farm life? It's great. That's good. I'm glad you're enjoying life here as much as I am. Have you been getting along with everyone? We should both try to make some new friends. We can achieve more with the power of friendship. Or something like that. Alright, that's all I came by to bug you about. I just wanted to see how your farm was doing. See you around then. You can increase your relationships through taking quests, talking to them every day, or giving gifts. Give a gift, hold an item from your inventory, and then talk to the recipient. You can also get to know your friends better by triggering their flower events. Oh, there's flower events! Check your relationship levels with the villagers in your journal. Who knows, maybe one day you'll fall in love and confess! There's... Nice! There's romance system in this game, too. I'm glad I got to see that before I ended the episode. Let's see, quests, contacts... Oh, yeah! Romanceable. Mac is cool. I'm curious. Let me know if you guys also got Mac and um, who the carpenter is. The bear in the uh, dinosaur suit. Anyway, that's where I'm going to end this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.